Hello, fourth graders. How are you today? Guess what? It's phonics time. Today we will study together. Listen for phonics and spelling. We will learn how to pronounce letters C and G. Let's start. Okay. Our objectives for today are number one. To learn that letters C and G can be pronounced softly. Number two, to do exercises exercises three and four, page forty five from your class book. Let's start. Okay, first I will start with a story about letters C and G. Let's listen to it. Okay. Once upon a time, there were two sisters, C and G. Okay. These sisters like to play with I, E, and Y. So, C and G are sisters. They like to play with I, E, and Y. Okay. One day, C and G's mom asked them, why do you like to play with I, E, and Y? And they answered her, they said to her, Because I, E, and Y, they speak softly, softly, and they play with us softly, though they don't speak hardly. Though they don't play with us hardly. This is why C and G like to play with I, E and Y. Because when they play together, when they come together, they speak softly. Let's have some examples to see what I mean by this. Okay, look at the first word. The first word here is city, city, city. Look, here is the letter C and after it in the same word we have the letter I. C, after it we have, we have I, so we pronounce the C as S, 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 city, city. Look at this word. The second word is rice. 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 Look at the letter C. Here the letter C is followed by the letter E. After C, we have E. So we pronounce C as S rice. Rice softly. We pronounced it softly. Let's move to the third example. Look at this word. Look at this word. I see. I see. Look, after the letter C, we have the letter Y. When they come together, we pronounce C softly as S, S, S. So, again, when C comes with I, Okay, when C is followed by I, we pronounce C softly. Sa. When the C is followed by E, we pronounce it softly. Sa. When the C also followed by the letter Y, we pronounce it softly. Now, repeat with me. City. City. Rice. Rice. I see. I see. So, the main idea here is that C pronounced softly sa, sa, sa when it followed by I, E, and Y. Okay, now let's move to the other sister, G. Okay, look first at this word, giraffe, giraffe. Giraffe. Look, here we have the letter G. When it followed by the letter I, we pronounced the G softly as J, J, J. Giraffe, giraffe, J, 
let's have another example look at this word this word is page page look when the letter G is followed by the letter E we pronounced it softly J J J page page okay now the third example is the word gem 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 look the letter G is followed by the letter Y the letter G is followed by the letter Y this is why we pronounced it softly J J gem gem so here the idea is that G the letter G is pronounced J J J softly J when it followed by I E and Y let's move on okay if C and G are followed by other letters other than I E and Y how will we pronounce them let's have some examples look at these words here in the first word the letter C is followed by A it is pronounced as cat we pronounce it hardly cat the C is pronounced as a ca look at the second wait okay look at the second word here is we have the word cup 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 the letter C is followed by the letter U so we pronounce the C hardly as a ca ca cup the third example here we have the letter C followed by the letter O so we pronounce the C hardly as a ca corner 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 now let's move to the letter G here the letter G here is followed by the letter O wait please the letter G is followed by the letter O so we pronounce the G hardly G G G goat 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 look here we have the letter G in the second word is followed by the letter U so here we pronounce the G hardly as a G G guitar 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 and the last word is game game here the letter G is followed by the letter A and here we pronounce the G hardly as a G G G so when the C is followed by other letters like A U or O we pronounce it hardly as a K K K when the G is followed by letters like O U and A we pronounce it hardly as a ga 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 okay now please boys and girls open your class books page 45 okay now boys and girls please uh, open your books you open open your class books page 45 now here we have the first exercise the first exercise is listening listen point 
and repeat. Now let's listen up together. Listen up. Listening 46. Listen and point. Letter C says S. City. Ice. Dance. Rice. Letter G says J. Cage. Page. Giraffe. Stage. Listen and repeat. Repeat, please. Letter C says S. City. Ice. Dance. Rice. Letter G says J. Cage. Page. Giraffe. Stage. Okay, thank you boys and girls. I want you please to repeat the, the words two or three times. Okay. Now, Let's move to exercise number two. Exercise number two is also listening. Okay, now here we have three pictures. The first picture is a menu. Here it is Ken's Cafe's menu. This is a menu. And picture number two, this picture is a book. Here we have a giraffe. It's drawn on a book. Here picture number three, is a poster this is a poster skate city now we will listen what is written on each picture and we will see what is exercise number three is asking us to do first let's listen together listen up notice this is listen and read first we will listen then we will read listening 47 Listen and read. Number one. Special dinner tonight. Meat, rice and vegetables. Fruit with ice cream. Five pounds. Number two. Turn the pages of this book really quickly and you will see a giraffe dancing in its cage. Number three. Come to the ice rink in the city. Meet your friends and learn to skate. Okay, now let's read. Ken's Cafe. Special dinner tonight. Meat, rice and vegetables. Fruit with ice cream. Number, th number two. Turn the pages of this book really quickly and you will see a giraffe dancing in its cage. Number three, Skate City. Come to the ice rink in the city. Meet your friends and learn to skate. Okay, now look at exercise number three. Exercise number three is asking you to read again. Please read at home. Then circle the words with C saying S. So we, have, we have to put a circle, circle, to put a circle around the words with C saying S and underline, underline, underline the words with G saying J. Okay, let's read together. Number one, special dinner tonight. Meat, rice, Rice, here we have the letter C, it is followed with I. Remember, C and G, when they are followed with I, E, and Y, we pronounce them softly. So, here we have the letter C, it is followed with E, so we pronounce it softly, S, rice. And we have here the word vegetables vegetables the g here is followed with letter e so we pronounce it softly as ja vegetables ja okay 
Then let's continue fruit with ice cream. Ice cream. Here we have the word, the letter C. The word ice, the letter C is followed with E. So we pronounce it softly as S. S. Ice. So we will put a circle around ice. And here, because this is ja, we will underline this word ice cream. Okay, look, here we have the letter C. But it followed with letter I. R, so we will pronounce it hardly as a K, cream, cream. So here we will underline vegetables and put a circle around C. And don't worry, okay? In the slides, in the in, in I, I put the answers for you in two slides. At the end of this video, inshallah, you will see the answers. You will have the answers, so don't worry. Okay, number two. Turn the pages of this book really quickly. Turn the pages. Pages, the word pages. Here we have the letter G. It is followed with letter E after G. When we have E, we pronounce it softly as a J. J. So we will underline this word. Uh, of this book really quickly and you will see a giraffe. Giraffe, the letter G here, it is followed with I. So we will pronounce it softly as J. Giraffe, so we will underline the word giraffe. Dancing in its cage, dancing, dancing, the letter C is followed with letter I. So we will pronounce it softly as S. Dancing in its cage, in its cage. Okay, here we have the letter G. It is followed with letter E, so we pronounce the G softly as J. Cage, cage. Number three. Come to the ice rink in this city. Okay, look at the word come. It's followed with O, so we'll pronounce it hardly as K, K. So we want to put a circle. Come to the ice rink. Ice, ice. C is followed with E. So we will put a circle because we pronounce the C softly here as S. And look at the word city. City. The C is also followed with I. So we will pronounce it softly as S. So we will also put a circle around city here and eyes. Then meet your friend and learn to skate. Here we don't have anything. So, please, boys and girls, read again. Read here the three pictures. And then circle the words with C saying Sa and underline the words with G saying Ja. Now let's move to exercise number three. Okay, exercise number three is asking, you, is asking us to circle 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 means to put a circle letter circle letter c that says sa and underline the letter g that says ja here in the first picture we have the first word is cucumber cucumber it's the c is followed with u and c also is followed with u so we pronounce it hardly as a ka so we will we circle this C, yes or no? Of course no, because we pronounce it hardly as a K. And we want the, the letter that we pronounce it as S. Okay, let, let's see this word, race. Race, the C here is pronounced softly as S because it's followed with letter E. Picture number two, crayon, crayon, C, sorry. C here is followed with letter R, so we pronounce it hardly as a K. So we don't circle it. Let's move to the next word. Cereal. Cereal. Here we pronounce C softly as a S because it's followed with letter E. So we will circle here the letter C or the, this word. Number three, city. City. The C here is followed with I, so we pronounce it softly as S. City, but look here. Here we have camera. Camera. The C here is followed with letter A, so we pronounce it hardly as a ca ca camera. Number four. Here we have the word stage. 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 The G here is followed with the letter 
with, with letter E. So we pronounce it softly as J, stage J. Now here we have guitar, guitar. G is followed with U. So here we pronounce it hardly as a G. So we don't circle, underline it. So here we will underline the letter G. Here we have the word goal and the word giraffe. Goal, goal, it's followed with O, so we pronounce it hardly as a G, G, goal. But here we have the word giraffe, giraffe, the G is followed with I, so we pronounce it softly as a J, J, giraffe. So here we will underline this G in the word giraffe. The last one, here we have the word page, page, so we pronounce the G here softly as J because it's followed with E. Okay, now please pay attention here. Here we have the word finger. Okay, here the G is followed with letter E, but we pronounce it hardly as a G. Why? Okay, listen up. In our English language, we have things called uh, exceptional cases. What do I mean of exceptional cases? So, this is it's, it's followed the rule, G followed with E, this is the rule, but we have some exceptions in English, says that the G here, is, we pronounce it as G, so how can we know, how can we know these exceptional cases, we have to memorize them, just memorize them, save them, there is no way to know them, you have just to memorize them, and with the practicing, you will know, uh, which words that are exceptional cases and we pronounce them as ga. So here the correct answer is page because we pronounce it softly, softly as ja, not as ga. Okay, now here, look. Okay, here are the answers for, here are the answers for exercise number two. And here we have the answers for exercise number four. Uh, no, this uh, the first one is for exercise number two and three. It's two and three. And here are the answers for exercise number four. Please study well, and we will send you your homework on uh, your uh, WhatsApp group. And have a nice day. Thank you.